friends. I hope you're doing well today. I'm excited to share that we have another story for us. And I can't wait to see what God may be speaking to us, saying to us, whispering in our minds about whatever's in this box. Often it's a parable. And we know that parables are treasures and they have important truths to share with us. And just like a treasure, this is gold to remind us of that. It looks kind of old, and parables are really old, almost 2,000 years old. And it has a lid, which reminds us that we have to open it up and unpack it, and that it might be hard to open. Sometimes parables are like that. Sometimes you open it up and it doesn't open well for you. It's hard to figure out. You can't really tell what God may be saying to you. And again, like I've told you before, that's a signal that we need to come back another time. You can safely put the lid back on and come back another time and open it up and listen really hard and look really hard and see what God might be saying to us. So, are you ready to open it up? I am too. Let's see what God might be telling us today. All right, are you ready to open it up? Let's see what we have. Well, looks like this is brown. It's a lot of brown. It's nothing but brown. nothing but brown. I wonder what this could really be. Let's see if there's anything else inside to help us. Well, there's this. Ah. Kind of divides this in two. Maybe it's like a crack. Or Something you could jump over. Let's see what else we have. Okay. So it looks like we have two places. One here. And one there. Two maybe cities. And this must be a road from one to another. Oh, yes. Look at this. They're like shadows. No light inside of these. Hmm. wonder what they are. Is there anything else? Oh, yes. I think we're ready to begin. There once was a man who did such amazing things and said such wonderful things that people followed him. And as they did, they listened to him speak about all sorts of things, and sometimes they asked him questions. One day, someone asked him, What's the most important thing in life? And the man said, you already know. And the person who asked said, yes, I think I do know. It's to love God and to love people as if they were your neighbors. But what about that? What does it mean to be a neighbor? Who are my neighbors? And the person who was asked told them this story. Once upon a time, there was a man moving from Jerusalem to Jericho. And along the way, robbers came out and surprised him 
and beat him and took everything he had and left him half dead by the side of the road. Later, a very important priest of the temple came along the road and when he saw the man who had been robbed and beaten and left half dead, he went to the other side of the road and continued on his way. Then another man came along the road this man also worked at the temple. He kept it clean and he helped with the music. He was called a Levite. And when he saw the man who had been robbed and beaten up and left half dead, he also moved away from the man and continued on his way. Then, a third man happened along the road. He was from Samaria. People in Samaria did not like the people in Jerusalem. And people in Jerusalem did not like the people from Samaria. And as he came along, he saw a man who had been robbed and beaten and left half dead. And he got off of his donkey and he put medicine on the hurt places of the beaten man. He covered him with his cloak. And put him on his donkey. And took him on towards Jericho, stopping at an inn so that they could spend the night and he could continue taking care of him. In the morning, the man still needed care. And so the Samaritan gave what he had to the innkeeper and said, take care of this man until he is well. Now I wonder, the man said, who was telling this story, who was the neighbor to this man? Was it the priest? Was it the Levite? Was it the thieves? Was it the Samaritan? What about the Samaritan? Who was the neighbor to the Samaritan? Was it this one? Was it this one? Was it this one? Was it these two? What about the Levite? Who was his neighbor? This one? This one? This one, these two, and what about the thieves? Who were their neighbors? This one, this one, the one who was hurt, the Levite. I wonder what might have happened in this story if these were all women, would it be different? I wonder what would happen in the story if the person who came upon the man who was robbed and beaten and left half dead had been a child. So this is the parable of the Good Samaritan. It's a beautiful story and so interesting to think about. I hope that God will continue speaking to you today, 
showing you where you fit into the story and what you need to learn from the story. I hope God will do that for me too. I'll be thinking about it. Let's have a prayer together. Dear God, thank you for this profound, beautiful, hard to hear sometimes story. Help us learn what we can from this story and see ourselves in it as we go through this day. Help us hear your words in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks. Thanks for being with me today. Bye.